Hello and welcome to the system and let me show you some of the basic things that you can do to save you a lot of time. So this is a drag and drop system and you can edit freely all your pages the way you want. So this is drag and drop and you can click on any of the elements and hold the button to adjust the position of the elements. So you can put them between the different elements on the page. So let's say that we want to put it here, just drag, drop and that's it. So you can position the elements like this very easily. If you want to do some spacing between the elements, you can do it with the handles between on top and on the bottom between the different elements to create some margins. It's really fun and easy. Now, what if you want to put more spacing on the side for the whole uh, for the whole row? So you just you can do it with these handles, which are for the columns. So you can just drag this to create some more spacing on the side, and everything is in percentages. So like that, we just created margin very easily. So everything is positioned into columns, so you can adjust the content into columns easily by using the navigation on top. So like here, for example, we have everything in three columns, one for the background, one for this column that is like a spacer, and one column which is for the content here. So you can use the handles now here between the different columns to adjust the size. So this way you can adjust very easily how your content looks. So make sure that uh, you use the columns to organize your content very neatly onto the page. If you want to add, for example, a new section here between this hero section and this uh, services, you can just click on add block. There you see tons of different designs that you can add into that specific position and you can filter by the different uh, categories here. So let's say that you want to add an image with a text, you select the one that you like the most, you add it and voila, you have it right there onto the page and you don't have to build it yourself. Of course, if you want to add, let's say, another text here below this below this headline, you can just click on the plus bu button, which will open all the different single elements that you can add to the page. How do you do it? Just by dragging the element and again, the line will indicate where exactly that specific element will go. In this case, we want to put it here. So just drag, drop it and you have it onto the page and you can start editing it. Every element itself, you can click on it and start editing. So the buttons have their own controls, the text have their own controls, um, and you know every different element has its own controls. Or you can just double click to start editing the first uh, control section. But keep in mind, if you want to do styling, you can just click on the styling here, which has more controls. As you can see, the paddings, the radius, and other things, and you can see them live changing onto the page. So this way you can easily modify all the designs and everything happening onto your page easily. And when you're ready, just click on save changes and everything will take place. If you click on this card, everything that you've done, it will disappear until the last save that you did. So this way you can design your pages. Uh, there is a lot of different settings such as block settings that you can modify the background of this image, for example, and change it with something else. The columns as well, they have their own settings by clicking on columns and you can change different designs about the columns so you can play around and create the most amazing pages or just slightly modify the existing one coming from your template that you you decided there's other things such as pages where you can build more pages pop-ups and access you know whatever you wish inside your template you can add different elements like you've already shown you you can click on global styling to add more fonts more covers. If you want to change globally all your covers, you can click on cover palette, select let's say a red cover and you can see everything onto your page will change if you use the global covers. The other things are the layout if you want to make it more uh, stretched or more narrow so you can easily do it from here. Lastly, you have the funnels if you're building a funnel yourself so you can access all the funnels and you have a great video that you can play out to learn more about the funnels and how amazing they are for different campaigns. The website settings, if you are going to be connecting domain, adding some custom code, ACO, your file, file manager, uh, some applications, personalizations, etc. You can check them out from the website settings. So everything about your website and funnels you can find into the uh, website settings. 
And this is it in a nutshell. Of course, you have other things on the top, which are the main navigations, where you can go to the store, to your CRM, to your booking and appointments. But the builder, it's very, very easy. And as you can see, everything you can do with your mouse and without any coding skills whatsoever. So I hope that you enjoy it. You can go crazy and build the most amazing pages. And again, if you have any questions and you want to learn more about the system, you can always let us know and we'll help you out as much as we can.